Testing one, two, and the three. All right, we're live. Hi, guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything about the metaverse, of course. Now, today, very exciting video as we're going to dive into Spider Man Far From Home, available completely free on Steam using the Oculus Meta Quest 2's competitor, of course, the Pico Neo 3 Pro, which is this VR headset here, and also the HP Reverb G2. Now, talking about the HP Reverb G2, those who've been following the channel for quite some time know that today is a very special day. Why? Because we're here to announce how to enter the competition as you can win a brand new pair of cyber shoes and also the HP Reverb G2. So the cyber shoes will come to another winner, of course, where you can walk, run, and jump in VR. And also a third winner will get a uh, voucher worth 50 US dollars that you can redeem for any app that you want on the Oculus Meta Quest 2, the Vive port, or the Steam VR store will be completely up to you. So how you want to spend the money. So do make sure you enable the bell after you subscribe as the lucky winner will be announced Mm, details in the description below to find out when they will be announced, how you'll be announced, and what you need to do to participate in this competition. And by the way, yesterday we announced two lucky winners to the VRCover.com's website, where two people can go to the website and basically pick any item that they want completely for free, up to 29 US dollars and 29 euros. So yesterday we announced the winners to that, and also go and check out that video if you're one of the winners, uh, you know, to find out. All right, guys. So back to today's video. Let's transition over because because this is pretty exciting. Let's first look at basically the pros, the cons of using a wireless VR headset uh, versus let's say a PC VR headset. So let's go to the Pico Neo 3 Pro and I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about uh, the, the graphics and all these kind of things. Now I've had to get rid of the sound unfortunately because of course I'm gonna be flagged for copyright infringement. Now with the Pico Neo 3 Pro, I imagine it's a little bit similar maybe uh, to your Oculus Meta Quest 2, I'm not quite sure, uh, but I'm streaming to the PC completely wirelessly and not using the actual cable whatsoever. So this is, when you go inside the Pico Neo 3 Pro, you just click on open Steam VR everything will be set up automatically for you and then you just click on it and then boom you can go inside directly so let me just can the, the thing here so now I can't record using one uh, one eye by the way so sorry about that it is possible there is an option inside the Pico Neo 3 Pro to change it to one eye. However, when you're streaming to, to PC VR, it still records with both eyes. It doesn't record uh, only with one eye. So uh, so that's that's just the way it is. Uh, I'm not quite sure what it's like when you stream to PC VR using your Oculus Meta Quest. Um, but basically, yeah, no, the graphics are not too bad. However, I did notice, uh, especially when things get very, very bright, I did notice that here, for example, um, the colors a little bit in the whites, especially the white, not, not the reds, not the yellows, not anywhere else, but just the whites. I did notice that sometimes uh, you get a little bit of uh, uh, color bleeding, as it were. So especially when it's extremely bright, but here is okay. You can't really notice it that much, uh, but what you see on screen is pretty much what you will then see, um, you know, on the actual app itself. And we're going to do a side by side comparison, by the way, uh, with the, you know, HP Reverb G2. I'm going to show you what it looks like in terms of the differences. Uh, you know, when you're inside. Now, the other thing is, by the way, I did notice that when I was inside, I couldn't actually click on any of the buttons. Uh, let me just see if I can see here. So when I was trying to click on the buttons, nothing was working. And I thought perhaps the app wasn't actually uh, compatible. It turns out that you have to go to uh, your Steam VR controller bindings and then go and choose a different binding. Now for the Pico Neo 3 Pro, I chose this binding here, um, which I, I don't know the actual name. Uh, let me see if I can find, see the name here. It's from, no, I can't see the name. Very sorry about that. But anyway, when I chose this name and I went back into Steam uh, after uh, changing the, uh, the controller bindings, I can't get the name. Can I get the name? Shared by Dragon something. Um, then it works completely. Uh, you just press on activate and it worked completely fine. And of course, with the HP Reverb G2, I had to do the exact same thing. And I'm going to show this to you in just a moment. Uh, so then what I did was, is I went inside, oh, I, I chose immersive, not comfortable, uh, because immersive basically means I don't have any vignetting whatsoever. And, and this, <coughs> this app, by the way, is extremely 
motion sickness prone. So this really will test your level of motion sickness because if you don't have motion sickness inside of this app, it means you are a you are very comfortable in VR. Uh, you've been in there for a long time. So I think this will be your gauging VR app in terms of motion sickness, uh, I think. Anyway, uh, let me just go back to the video here, okay? And in photographics, uh, okay, I'll show this to you in just a while in terms of graphics. So they ask you to put your, your mask on. And when you put the mask on, you'll basically be immersed. Uh, you'll be transitioning into the next scene. So it says loading Manhattan. So there are different ways of playing. So there is free play or there's story mode. And then here is when you jump, it's frigging amazing, man. I mean, the, the sensation that you have in here is really, really, really crazy. Um, in fact, let me just stop this one because I had a better uh, experience. If I go to the next one, because here I was just starting off to begin with. Oh, here's some footage inside of the room, by the way. Okay, so in the room, I mean the graphics are okay. You know they're not they're not super great. Uh, I, I would say they're very basic kind of 3D kind of uh, kind of graphics in terms of the actual game itself. But it's good enough. I mean it is quite an old app. You know, uh, comparing it to new apps that are available today on the market, of course the geometry, all these kind of things are very very basic. Uh, there are some jagged edges here and there. I would say. Um, but you know, I'm just talking about the geometry, uh, in terms of the shadows and the lighting and all these kind of things. It's all okay. I mean, you know, if we go to the graphic settings here, for example, I actually put it on, uh, so I just need to wait. We go to comfort. Okay. Comfort. There's no vignetting, nothing like that. And for the graphics, I put everything on high, just so you know. Not quite sure why. Okay, there we go. So let me just pause it. So the graphics I put on high for the viewing distance. Shadows I put on medium because it doesn't really make that difference, much of a difference. Textures I put on high. Population medium. Ambient occlusion I turned off. Uh, you'll see the difference when um, when we put to, to on uh, inside the HP Reverb G2. And then we put here. And then here I think, uh, yeah, so this is basically what it looks like in terms of I mean, the graphics are not bad in terms of the viewing. Um, the, the, the sweet spot inside of the, HP, the Pico Neo 3 Pro is fantastic, I have to admit. But um, when we go and climb on certain buildings, you'll see in just a moment, uh, basically, uh, I, I will see some ab uh, chromatic aberration, which basically means that the colors will bleed a little bit. But in terms of the immersion, you feel very immersed. Um, you know, it's very easy to navigate. You don't really press on 10,000 different buttons. Um, you know, and when you jump like this, oh my God, uh, it's really, really incredible as to, you know, the immersion that you get, um, it's just absolutely amazing. The, the actual gameplay itself is just really, really crazy. Uh, I'll do a post-production where I actually enlarge the lens. So you see the difference, uh, when it's just one lens instead of two side by side, by the way. Okay, and then let me just uh, get rid of this one. Let me go to another one where I'm more used to the gameplay so you actually get to see what it's like. I mean, it's pretty crazy. The, the navigation is very easy. Uh, you just press on the trigger and then, you know, you just one hand, one side, then the other side, and one side, then the other side. I mean, it's really awesome. The, the, the immersion, doing this, you could do this for such a long time. It's got like a very relaxing kind of you know, kind of feel to it. It's like almost like meditational. I mean, it's pretty, it's really amazing as to what you can do. And there's no other app that really provides you this feeling, to be honest with you. Um, there is something very unique about Spider-Man, um, you know, in VR compared to any other app that's available. Um, and then here, so this is basically the storyline that we're following. Then suddenly there the are rocks coming down and all this kind of stuff. 
So if I just follow through, and then here uh, you can see the the bad guy and the ground. I mean, it is very it is very immersive, uh, especially when you're not tethered to the PC. And I will talk about the differences uh, between being tethered and untethered. Um, but honestly speaking, when I was using the HP Reverb G2. I felt very immersed too. I didn't really feel the cable. Um, it really wasn't that much of a difference, to be honest with you. But it, it, the fact that you know that you're not tethered to a PC psychologically does make it better. But there are some differences to the graphics. Uh, so maybe what I can say, what I can do now is just give you a side by side just before that I can just show you. So uh, there are different things to do in the story mode. I mean, it's not a bad app whatsoever. And the fact that it's free, you will spend quite some considerable time in there for sure. So let me just do a side by side comparison of the graphics. Let me just get rid of this. Okay, so we're going to talk about several different uh, comparison and contrast between the two. But basically for me, um, you know, the gameplay was very much night and day in terms of the graphics. The graphics on the HP Reverb D2, for, for example, first of all, there's no jagged edges or very little jagged edges on the HP Reverb D2. Everything is super clear. Um, there's no... Just everything is so sharp, so clear. Um, the other thing is with the Pico Neo 3 Pro, I, I can confirm uh, that there is definitely some screen door effect uh, compared to the HP Reverb D2. Pico Neo 3 Pro is probably very, I mean, the lenses are exactly the same as the Oculus Quest Meta Quest 2. So, um, you know, I, that means that if you're going to be using the Oculus Meta Quest 2, it's also going to have screen door effect compared to the HP Reverb D2 for sure. Now the screen door effect, of course, compared to the Oculus Metal Quest 1 is much, much lower. Yes, now you can't compare it, but at the end of the day, it is there, it's very thin, very, very, very thin. But to me, it is no noticeable. The other thing is there are some uh, chromatic aberration where the light, especially in extremely bright spots, you can definitely see some leaking of color with some yellows and red and greens and blues uh, just spilling over a tiny, teeny little bit. It's not like so obvious, it's just very slight obvious. And because I'm used to the HP Reverb D2, um, you know, it makes it very hard for someone like me, or very easy for someone like me, sorry, to be able to notice those kind of things. Um, but you know, the, the, the graphics, uh, the, the sweet spot on the Pico Neo 3 Pro, however, which is the same as the Oculus Meta Quest 2, of course, it's gonna be exactly the same. Um, and, and it is a great, great sweet spot. You know, you cannot deny that the sweet spot on the HP Reverb D2 is much smaller, um, you know, and you, you know, stuff like that. Now, by the way, you can do time trial. Uh, there are some mini games you can do inside uh, if you don't do the story, so it's pretty cool. And you know, th just, just going from building to building is really amazing. Now, when I was using the HP Reverb D2, as I mentioned before, um, the, the fact that I was wired to the PC didn't really bother me because I didn't have to turn my head 360 degrees all the time. So when I was battling some bosses in some of the levels, it really wasn't that, that bad. So I have to say that the fact that I was using the HP Reverb D2 of a PC VR headset was absolutely okay, completely fine. But it is nice to feel the fact that you don't have a cable whatsoever uh, on the Pico Neo 3 Pro, because psychologically, the fact that you don't have a cable makes you feel like you don't have to be so cautious, I guess. Um, you know, it, it makes me feel like I can do whatever I want. I don't really have to worry about the fact that I have a cable. You know, um, that with the HP Reverb G2, I still felt like I knew I had a cable in the back of my head. That's the only, only thing. So, but the experience was still really, really good. And the fact that I had the Mambo grips, oh, made it such a, such a difference. I mean, I love the fact that the controllers, if we talk about the controllers now, on the, on the, the, the Pico Neo 3 Pro, have it, those controllers are a dream. I love the controllers of the Pico Neo 3 Pro. They are amazing. If I did not have the Mambo grips on the, the HP, Reverb D2, I would be like, oh my God, I hate the controllers of the HP Reverb D2. The fact that I had Mambo grips with the controllers on the HP Reverb D2 
was a dream. It really made the experience so much nicer, so much better. I felt so comfortable. I have to say, it's very difficult to pick a winner. Very difficult to pick a winner. I, I would have to say I'm going to pick the HP Reverb Ditto as a winner because because the graphics were better. You know, if I was to pick a winner between the Oculus Mental Quest 2, if the gra graphics are very similar to the Picone 3 Pro, by the way, I don't know because I don't have the Mental Quest 2, then I would have to say that that, that the HP Reverb G2 for this specific app is hands down a winner simply because the graphics are just much, much better. I don't see any screen door effects. I don't see any color aberrations with bleeding of colors here and there. Um, it, and, and also I don't feel like I have the cable attached to my head. So in that case, for me, hands down, the HP Reverb G2 is a better VR headset for this kind of experience than the Pico Neo 3 Pro. <laughs> hands down. I just preferred it. But I have to say that the Pico Neo 3 Pro provided me a really awesome experience. The fact that I wasn't tethered to VR headset was amazing. Uh, the graphics provided inside the headset are super cool. Um, I mean, look, if you look on the left-hand side, I'm beating a boss here in one of the mini games, and I'm throwing some things. I have to move around 360 degrees. I mean, I had no issues, no issues whatsoever. No issues whatsoever. Very, very comfortable gameplay using the HP Reverb G2. Uh, even though I'm, I'm, I'm moving my head 360 degrees, my body 360 degrees, I have to look everywhere to find the boss. No issues whatsoever. Very happy with it. Very, very happy. No issues. Um, and if we go back to the uh, Pico Neo 3 Pro, let me just pause the HP Reverb G2 very quickly. And then we get the... We get the scene where I'm beating a boss. Okay, this is a tutorial. So I think it's before, I think it's here. No, not here. Okay, maybe it's here. Yeah, here it is. You know, here with the Pico Neo 3 Pro, we're trying to beat a boss. Um, no issues whatsoever, very, very comfortable. Graphics are very cool. Uh, the boss looks very 3D, you know, very immersive. And, and what I love about the app the most, by the way, guys, and I think this is what really makes the app more than anything, is the music. The music is just amazing. It's so epic, so amazing, so cool. Um, it just makes you want to play again and again and again and again. It just, you just don't want to finish playing. I mean, it is a really awesome, immersive experience, I have to admit. Um, but I still prefer the HP Reverb G2 simply because the graphics are better, they're much sharper, and I don't get as many color bleeding. So for those who have both the Neo, Neo 3 Pro, uh, Pico Neo 3 Pro and the uh, Meta Oculus Quest 2, we'll be able to, to, to deny or confirm uh, whether on the Oculus Meta Quest 2 you do have the color bleeding. Uh, and also if you do have the Oculus Meta Quest 2, please try this out. Please let us know in the comments below whether you do have uh, any color bleeding of any kind. I think that would be really, really awesome uh, so we can educate people in terms of of, of this. So guys, thank you again for watching today's video. I just want to remind you that you can enter from today onwards how to win the HP Reverb D2 as well as the Cyber Shoes and a 50, uh, 50 US dollar voucher to claim to buy any app that you want on your Meta Oculus Quest store, your, H your Vive port or your SteamVR store. Link in the description below as to where to go. Do make sure to enable your bell after you subscribe so that you are notified if you are a potential winner. All right, guys. Thank you for watching today's video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the comments below and in another video very, very soon. Bye, guys.